everyone enjoyed your long weekend. No, no classes yesterday, no classes Friday, nice four days. Tried to make the most of it. We did something different this year. We went to the Key Ridge Mule Jump. 34th annual. So, thought we'd check it out, see what it's all about. And yes, it's mules jumping. They put up a hurdle. People walk their mules up there and say, come on, jump, jump. And the mule goes, no, I'm just going to walk around it. Look. And they're like, no, no. And they're shoulder to shoulder with the mule pushing on the person. The person. Mules are very stubborn. So. Mm. They're, they're talking about tomorrow's testing. Tomorrow we have the uh, the, the PSAP. We got uh, work keys for seniors. We got all kinds of stuff going on. So uh, I guess tomorrow you'll be probably in a building somewhere, perhaps. All that good stuff. It's a crazy week. So we got a short week, and it's all messed up, all this testing and everything. So, But it doesn't really affect B day as much as A day. A day is just crazy. So we're all here ready to go. All right, let's see. But yeah, I did the meal jump. That was kind of cool. Did Silver Dollar City yesterday. Thought I'd, if I'm not going to be in school, let me go party it out. So good time there. Uh, let's see. Let's look at this week. I do want to uh, cover something first before we talk about what to do this week. Let me put this up on the screen. Some of you guys, I, I've noticed, I still see some of this. When, when you're in Buzz, you've got this look right here, this dark background. And I imagine probably most of you don't even know how to change that. Uh, I've seen sometimes if you have this background and you go to some of these assignments, you, you can't even see some of the some of the problems. Let me go let me go look at uh, let's look at the, the test right here. So we'll see uh, when you go to look at it, some of these of the oh this one's pretty nice. It's highlighted uh, in, in white, but some of these times it'll disappear in there. Some of these fractions will disappear, disappear, and you can't even see the numbers really well. Uh, I want to show you how to change that where you don't have this dark background. Uh, I think you, if you're in an assignment, I don't think it'll let you change it. But if you're just like on the activity screen here, if you go up here to where your your name is, you can go to choose theme right here choose theme and if you go there it'll show all these colors like okay, okay i'll choose the color you can choose the color that's that's fine but right here it says dark color scheme you can change that to light color scheme and then when you hit uh let's see save see now it's a light background and now it won't create those problems when you're trying to see an equation or trying to see a, a fraction or an exponent uh, you can see that if you have the light scheme. So you just want to choose your theme and make sure you go to light color. It doesn't matter in these colors because, see, that just changes the heading up there. It doesn't change the background. So you can choose whatever color you want, but have the light color scheme instead of the dark color scheme. Don't, don't let the system choose. You choose it yourself and go to the light color scheme. So, All right, let's go to our grade screen and take a look. Yeah, I've been needing to remember to tell you how to change that background for a while. So that should make it better. Okay, looking at this week, 22nd. That's this, yeah, today's the 17th. That's Sunday. Uh, we're just at the end of the unit. So the test. So the important thing about that is means if we're at the end of the unit two, that means anything that's missing from unit one needs to be turned in this week. But I don't know that anyone in here has anything missing from unit one. Uh, in fact, that so that's not going to apply. So, good job, everyone's got that turned in. But that's the final due dates on unit one. You can still retake things if you want to from unit one. You can go back if you get something you scored poorly on, you can go back and redo that. If it won't let you, email me, but you can go back and retake that. So, uh, but this week we just have part one and part two. We'll look at them just to show you what it looks like. In fact, we were just on the uh, first part of the test. Oh, remember the, the practice test? I, I took the practice test. I have a video of me taking the practice test. So if you struggled on the practice test, you can go back and look and see what I did. And I explain how to do all the problems on the practice test. So uh, that will help you be ready for the test as well. If, if you did great on the practice test, then you, you should be ready. If you did poorly, uh, make sure you see how I did it and make sure you can do it better before you go to the test.
but part one of the test. Let's see how many questions we got. Uh, I got to write this in exponential form. Simplify this. Solve for x. Simplify this. Write your answer as a complex number, which means there should be an i in it. Multiply these complex numbers. Simplify this. It's multiplying two complex numbers. Multiplying three different factors together. Four, x minus five, x squared plus x minus two. So you multiply it together. Uh, simplify this. We've got this polynomial minus this polynomial. So one of those answers. Uh, find the volume. Volume is length times width times height. Here's the length. Here's the width. Here's the height. Yeah, so what would it be when you multiply those together? And multiplying two polynomials together. So just 10 questions on the multiple choice portion. Uh, it should be worth 60 points, though each worth six points. Unfortunately, no partial credit on multiple choice. So I don't like multiple choice for that fact that you can't get partial credit. So it's all or nothing. Part two. Let's see how many questions we have. We have four questions worth 10 points each. And these I do give partial credit. So if you don't know for sure how to figure it out, put down what you do know. Give it a shot. Try as much as you can so I can give you partial credit. Uh, describe how to transform this into an expression that has a rational exponent. Exponent. So if you just actually do the steps, I can see what you're doing. That's that's a good enough description, but don't leave out any steps. Show how to change that. Uh, add whatever description you feel you need. Uh, solve this. Show each step. That's important. You got to show each step so I can give you the full 10 points. You don't show me all the steps. Even if you get it right, I'll give you some points. But if you don't show me how you got there, I can't give you all 10 points. So solve this. Uh, show the work to multiply these together. So show all the steps. Multiply those two complex numbers. And then here's a word problem where f of x is Sonia working at a bakery. This is the money per loaf. This is the number of hours she works. And what would it be if we took f of g of x? Show all work to find that and say, what does it represent? What is f of g of x? Would you substitute g of x and f of x? What does that represent? So that's what you have this week. Parts one and parts two of the test. It's not due till Sunday. So I know tomorrow you're busy with all the testing stuff. If you want to do this today, if you're ready. If not, wait till later in the week. Wait till later in the week, but don't... Uh, but don't wait too long. Do it while it's still fresh in your mind. So. Okay. Uh, any questions on that? Any questions or anything from this unit? Since we have uh, testing this week on everything that we've learned. So I don't have any questions. Uh, there's no need for me to keep you around in class. Uh, you, can, you can do the test now or you can do the test sometime before Sunday. But I will hang around in class for anyone that wants to go over anything. Anyone need any help? Otherwise, I'll let you guys go enjoy your Tuesday. Don't forget you got your grade checks for your advisory today. So we can get started on that as well. Have a great day.